In the meantime, what I'm gonna do is send it to Tyler back at the station. Tyler, I know you've been keeping an eye on the weather while we stand in it here. It's chilly. The question is, does it stay this cold? And did I hear something about ice? Yeah, you did hear something about ice, but thankfully it's not tonight. So for the actual tree lighting and the ride home, we don't have to be concerned about any snow or ice. It's cold. It'll stay that way. Can't fix that. But I wanted to show you the record lows from this morning. It's really impressive. Not only the number of record lows we set, but by how much we broke the old records by. Burlington got to minus one, as I showed you earlier. That's the earliest sub zero on record in Burlington. Five below in Plattsburgh, 20 below this morning in Saranac Lake. St. Jay got to six below and nine below at Messina. All of those brand new records for this morning. So right now it's not as cold, but still way below average. 25 in Burlington, 21 at Montpelier. But here's the wind. It's still blowing a little bit out of the south, so it actually feels like the teens for most of us. But even a single digit wind chill there, six is what it feels like at Newport right now. But we don't have anything on Storm Tracker, a couple clouds. This band of rain is what is coming in for Saturday night and Sunday, and it will be rain or freezing rain. It's been so cold, a lot of times you really have to take that into account into a forecast because it's hard to warm up. And of course, we have the snow, so I think some of the roads will be slippery, icy for Sunday morning. Right now, that is not a concern. It's 25 in Burlington, feels like 14 with a south wind. And overnight, we're looking at teens to about 20 with a few clouds from time to time, but it'll be dry. Here's a look at the headlines, dry and milder tomorrow. It looks like a really nice day. It is breezy. If you want to go skiing, you'll notice the wind, but at least the sun will be out. The clouds come back tomorrow evening, and then it's rain and freezing rain Saturday night and Sunday. The favored areas for the ice would be Adirondacks and then higher parts of Vermont outside of the Champlain Valley where the cold will get stuck. There are the highs tomorrow, 30s, look at that, even low 40s in southern spots. But I want to show you what happens here. By later tomorrow, the clouds come in from the west. So after sunset, that's when the rain will come in tomorrow. And I don't think Futurecast is highlighting enough pink here. So it's going to be rain heavy at times, but again, freezing rain in parts of the Adirondacks and the Northeast Kingdom down into southern Vermont as we go through the day Sunday. And for Monday, it's more like rain and snow showers. But this winter weather advisory here, anywhere you see the purple shading is for the freezing rain Saturday night and Sunday. So that's all of eastern Vermont, southern Vermont, Adirondack. Champlain Valley is excluded. We'll still have to keep a close watch to see if we have any icing right in the Champlain Valley. But things will improve by late on Sunday. And then Monday is a different system. It's more of a rain snow mix. And there can be snow accumulation Monday night into Tuesday especially in the mountains and the snow showers will linger for Wednesday and Thursday and temperatures stay below average, but not as cold as it's been. We'll be in the 30s to near 40 as we head through next week. Stu.